Hi, I'm James Wesley, Product Manager for S-Click Lighting Control and Energy Efficiency Products. In this video, we'll be looking at the HNS 610DT, Push Button Dimmer Mech. The HNS 610 comes in a 10-pack carton. When opened, it transforms into a shelf box for a super neat method of merchandising. Each mech comes in an individual box with a detailed instruction manual that includes the wiring diagram, as well as different shaped buttons that suit a wide range of plate manufacturers. Let's demonstrate the functionality and then the programming of the HNS 610. As you can see, I've wired this one in a multi-way configuration. We can have as many multi-way dimmers as needed by using a slave mech, the remote button HNS 020. This slave is a dummy mech that copies what it's attached to, either a dimmer mech or a timer mech. It picks up the program via a single core strap cable. A quick tap switches the lights on and off. So tap to switch on, then press and hold to dim. Then release and press again to brighten. A quick tap to turn off. After a period of inactivity for 10 seconds, the dimmer defaults to increasing the brightness on the next press and hold of the button. A double tap when the lamp is on sets a gradual dimming function to off over 30 minutes. A double tap when the lamp is off sets a gradual dimming function to on over 30 minutes. To set the minimum brightness, press and hold the button for 10 seconds until the LED indicator starts flickering. Tap the button and the lamp gets brighter with each tap. When you're happy with the minimum brightness setting, leave for 10 seconds and that minimum setting is stored. Now I'll show you programming mode. Some brands of LED lamps can be difficult or slow to start, so we have a built-in kickstart feature. So press and hold the button until the LED indicator flickers. Take your finger off, then press again for two seconds until the LED indicator switches off. Now we're in programming mode. Tap once and kickstart mode has been activated. Some lamps flicker at a maximum brightness, so we can help by activating our maximum brightness attenuation mode. First activate the programming mode by holding down for 10 seconds until the LED flickers. Then take your finger off and press again for two seconds, activating programming mode. Then tap twice to activate maximum brightness attenuation mode. As you can see, the LED indicator is always on. We can turn this off when the lights are off by first activating programming mode. 10 seconds on till it flickers, then two seconds to get into programming mode, then tap three times, and the LED indicator will be on when on and off when off. Simply repeat the process to change it back. To reset the HNS 610 to factory settings, press and hold for 10 seconds, then release, press and hold for 10 seconds, and the HNS 610 is reset to factory settings. The HNS 610 retains its settings after power failure. It also has patented ripple tone rejection. So that's the HNS 610. Thanks very much for watching.